Oh, their litters that they were selling were glitters. Litters? <laughs> 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 Those glitters that they were selling. They I was thinking like what litters? Cause I got glitters. <laughs> <laughs> so the litters that they were selling <laughs> were. Are you <laughs> guys we are in an airbnb hence why it looks slightly different um than usual and this is the imax hall yeah sorry. <laughs> <laughs> so just real quickly before we you know head out on the town because this is a city that never sleeps um i'm gonna let y'all know a couple of things that i got from imax i'm also gonna let y'all know i went over my <laughs> And I'm going to do an IMETS tips and tricks in a later time because we need to schedule. So the first place that I went to um, while Britt stood in line for it, she held it down, P.O.P. <laughs> <laughs> was um, Alcone. Um, I didn't go for anything but the beauty blenders. So I got a black one and a pink one. Um, now these usually retail for $20 and I paid $16 so they also had other bundles like you could get a pack of 10 of the black ones for $100 but they sold out and they also had a pack of 6 for $64 but they sold out so yeah it's always good to shave off a couple dollars just a little bit I mean yeah yeah I saved eight dollars right so at the end of the day right so the next place that I went to was um, they had a booth um, and it was for the magic eraser now apparently with this cloth all you need is water and it will just remove your makeup with water so you don't need any um, oil or cleansing or anything like that now this was fifteen dollars and it's supposed to last a couple years because it's up to 1,000 washes. I actually did my research on this and I heard good reviews about it. So I decided to pick one up. They're usually $20. So anything where it saves me a couple of extra steps while taking off my makeup because that's the worst part about makeup, right? Mm -hmm. It's the worst part is taking it off. So that's what I got. And then I went to the balm where I got this cute little bag it's a cute little bag so at the bomb I actually got picked up a palette that I have been wanting and it's the meat matrimony palette and this palette is an all matte palette that retails for $42 and they had it on sale at IMATS for 21 and I honestly feel like that's a little bit better price um, than the 42 for this palette now it does come with this really nice nice mirror at the top and i hope i'm not blinding y'all and it's matte shades and i'll insert a clip um and some swatches up close now if you spent a certain amount of money at well first they have 50 percent off of everything if you spent over 25 dollars you were able to get some like free goodies so in order to meet my $25 threshold to get a free gift, I got a um, Mary Do Manizer, which is a liquid highlighter and it's like light gold shade. So I got that and it was for $8. It usually retails for $16. And the free gift that they were giving away was their um, scuba water resistant black mascara. So that's what I got from the bomb. So that was really, really nice. Yes, my ball. They real clever for that. Uh, I don't even think if they meant to do it like that. I don't know, but it's very clever. It is. I agree. So another place where I went to was actually a new company that I had never heard of called LaBelle. And with LaBelle, I ended up getting um, two of these. Well, I got one in an egg shape, and this one is like a cut egg, and it's is supposed to be like a beauty blender alternative they were ten dollars a piece but if you got two of them you got them for fifteen dollars 
and when I tell y'all I'm sorry I'm all up in y'all world but this is actually drying down and it's really big I used it it blended out my makeup really nicely it is on the softer side compared to the beauty blender but I actually like softness but nothing will come close to my beauty blender ever but yes I got a, a teal one and a pink one and I also got this palette which I'm going to give y'all up close view and some swatches as well in a little bit and it's called the so lush palette and it's just a small palette but it's so pretty it's a so lush palette it reminds me about the same size as the um, modern renaissance mm -hmm. palette but here it is um, these colors are so pretty um, there are one two three four five six mats and about eight shimmers and their shimmers are so nice like they are so pretty so i'll insert the swatches for you guys to see okay and that was twenty dollars and i felt like that wasn't bad for a palette that i'm just trying out Try to find the light. Try to find the light. Okay. So, the last place we actually went to, um, we went to Lit Cosmetics. And they gave us these cute little satiny bags. And I actually have a story. They're so cute. They are, they are really cute. So, I have a story about mine. We just said letters to get. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm tired, guys. It's okay. Okay. So, Lit Cosmetics. <laughs> there, I see what's happening. You see? I see what the problem is. All right. It's lit cosmetics, so you think it's litters, but it's glitter because it's lit. I got you. Okay. So, Lit Cosmetics sells glitters, and they were selling the glitters for $12 a piece, but it was three for 36 right? No, three it was for three for 35 And even then, I was just like, wait, what? Like, yeah. Like, it doesn't make sense, so I get a dollar off for spending all this money. But I got a story time. So I actually wanted the three glitters and a glue. It was $40. She told me it was $40 when she went to go ring me up. She looked at me like, you can't count, it's $50. And I was just like, why? I got three glitters and a glue. And she was just like, oh, no, I thought you got the bundle set. I was just like, no. So I was going to tell her to take it all back. And then she was just like, you know what? <laughs> You've got a big order. Just go ahead and take this. So I actually got a steal. I actually got $10 off their bundle. And instead of getting um, just three glitters and a glue, I got, I didn't even know I got the, I got the little fan. Um, I guess to, for so you can dry your glitters. Mm. Um, so for when you put that That's on, a nice little, that was extra. Like, that, that was like that was cute. Mm -hmm. I got a purple glitter, which I'm I'm gonna show y'all these later. We're not even gonna do this right now. No, I'm gonna show y'all this glitter. So I got a purple glitter. I got a free copper glitter. That's another thing too. You got a free glitter if you made a purchase. Mm -hmm. um, I also got this um, champagne color glitter. And I got a pink glitter. <laughs> so I got um, those glitters and then instead of a small glue for $5, she ended up giving me a um, big glitter glue, which will come in handy for when I pick up more glitters. Mm -hmm. She also gave me a brush to apply the glitter and their card. And I just found something else. I don't, what the fuck is this? I don't know. I don't know what this is, but if you guys know, if you guys know what this is for any reason, please let me know. You want to get a coaster? Yeah, let me, <laughs> like, what the fuck? <laughs> Wait, I want you to guys to see this. What the fuck is that? Uh -huh. But it was free. <laughs> that's what I know. So, yeah, that's what I got. And tell them what you got. Bro. So, I only got, well, technically two glitters. Because I got one and they gave me one free. Because, you know, budget is budget. Okay. So, the one that I actually picked was Sugar and Spice. It's like a pinkish 
um, champagne-y type color. That's the way, that's the best way to describe it. And then the other glitter I got is called Tootsie. And it actually is exactly what I got. This was the free one that I got. And it's exactly what you think a Tootsie colored glitter would look like. It's a brown, kind of like deep um, reddish kind of color. But it's like a real burgundy type glitter. But yep, that's what I got from Lit. I didn't get no extra perks because I, I just, I guess they wasn't feeling like I was there special that day. But I got two of my glitters and they are very pretty and I can't wait to wear them. Now I'll put the names of my glitters because y'all know that I'm blind as all hell. I'll put the names of my glitters in the um, close-ups of the glitters when I show them to you because I believe I also got sugar and spice. So you can see um, the one that Brittany got as well. All right. All right. Okay, so starting off with Morphe, being as though we waited in line for two hours. Two hours. Two hours. We definitely had to rake up. Um, Morphe is very affordable. Um, they definitely have a lot of budget-friendly items as far as their palettes, their brushes, their eyeshadows, their single lipsticks, all of that. So they are very budget-friendly. Oh wow! They're already. Oh wow! So with the little discount that they gave us, because it was low. It was a little. It was low. But we still were. We managed to, you know, get a nice little good deal on some products as far as you know raking up again things that we wanted so and the benefit of going to like IMAX other than like paying for it is that we got our products right away instead of waiting for them to ship because depending on when you order it can take forever to for more fees to ship so we were able to pick out what we saw if we wanted to swatch we can swatch um or if we saw something new we can have it right away instead of having to wait and pay for shipping mm -hmm. um but you can also probably get the same discount or better with like a, a Morphe Babes code. Like you get 10% off. Right. Um, and I think one, if there was a particular one. Somebody said at the IMAX that you could get 15% off this weekend if you use a certain code. By the time y'all get this video, nine times out of ten, the weekend will be over. <laughs> but... <laughs> so just always look out for deals like that from Morphe too because yeah. they're worth it online too but we able to get and feel and touch and bring home mm -hmm. our products because we even ran into it well I personally ran into a situation where Britt was showing me one of the palettes they had online and then I was actually looking at it while she was showing mm -hmm. me and I was like it doesn't look like doesn't how it looks it. online like I don't want it because the colors aren't as vibrant or as bright as what I perceive them to be from the online picture so you do gotta kind of be careful with that with Morphe not to say that their palettes are bad because they have great palettes mm -hmm. but the palette in particular that I was looking at I was like this don't even look the same so yeah that was the the experience that was the benefit of being at IMATS and going to the Morphe line and waiting that long so all of those tips were great yeah so now let's get into what we done spent our money on. So starting with the eyes, we are going to start with the shadows. Um, I got the smoking mirrors. It's like, I'm not going to open all of these. The only reason why I'm opening this one is because I actually have it on my lid today. If you guys can see it, I have it on my lid so today. Close your eyes, bro. Get real close, bro. Oh. <laughs> Get real close. So, I have smoky mirrors on today. If you guys can see it. So, um, I'm actually wearing this color today. This is a gray, shimmery color. I love it. Um, this isn't a color that I typically would go to. This is not my go-to type colors. I typically stick to, like, golds and rose golds and you know kind of like earth tones or whatever i guess you could call it but in like the gold family that's what i typically do for eyeshadows so this was different but i love it and i'm glad i stepped out of my comfort zone and i went ahead and got this um the the deal was that you get five for 20 and <laughs> one free we had a whole situation but really it was six for 20. it was six for 20. um i also got uh mary the night so I can't really show y'all how it, like you guys won't be able to see it through the box. Um, but this was a very pretty color as well. 
I also got coffee and drama and it's exactly what you think it would look like with the term coffee and drama it was you know a brownie kind of color but it had some shimmer in it as well so very pretty um, me and Brett actually also got some colors together we both got bad romance which was also like a brown it was like a, a lighter brown um, yeah so it was like a brown it was pretty shimmery and we also got yeah these are all shimmers yeah all of these are shimmer colors and Brito have the swatches um you probably be seeing them as we're talking right here yo right as we're talking we both also got five star luxury which is like kind of like a gold champagne -y type color smart gold than that um we both also got room service and that is kind of like a greenish this is the greenish one yeah right? this one was really this is pretty. the green um shimmer color and it's very very pretty both out of our comfort zones that's not something we typically would do but it's a very pretty color and we think we could work with it you know what i'm saying we got some weird we access. Do something. We Okay, so the three shadows that I got that were different um, was Gossip Girl. Now this is my standard basic rose gold. I absolutely love this color. Um, this is like a deep mauve rose gold though. Um, and I also got um, So Chic and Polish. And this one is a, like a, I want to say it's a true champagne if I remember correctly. This one, the last one that I got was Untamed, which is like a cranberry shimmer. So that will be really pretty for the fall or like um, if I wanted to do a summer look, um, I can smoke out my um, lid with a darker color than rose gold and then just, you know. Yeah, basically with these shadows shimmer. that we got, they're all very easy to work with. You could do countless um, eye looks with them. And they're really perfect for any season. You could wear them anytime. Dress them up, dress them down. Daytime, nighttime look. You could do it any way that you want. But these colors are very... Um, they're just easy as far as like beginner friendly. And being able to do like simple eye looks with the shimmery colors. Because shimmers are your best friends. When you are a beginner... Shimmers are your best friend. They are your best friend. So these are all shimmer colors and hopefully you guys like them. Yes. So um, sticking with eyeshadows, I actually got two palettes. Um, now, these palettes, um, well, y'all know the standard Morphe palettes um, are the, are $23. So I did get one of the 35 pan palettes and I actually got the... 35p palette in plum um, I will insert a picture and some swatches there and this one was actually not on my radar until like I had looked up the one and I can say the 35p is pretty true to what the website says it looks like so you don't have to worry there but the other one I got was one of their new palettes and it's the 25c hey girl hey palette and this one was really pretty too um, I fell in love with it on a website and it does look um, really similar to this I feel like the good thing about Morphe palettes is you will always have browns like I feel like they have so many browns in each one of their palettes. You'll never run out of browns, but their little pops of color is what really makes the palette. And I believe this is with the new formula because this also has names, which I will um, show you when I insert the picture. So that's it for eyeshadow palettes from Morphe. So, 
Me and Britt both also got the blender. Mine clearly isn't in the box because I actually just used it just now because I wanted to compare it to the beauty blender. And it actually does hold a candle. That was the first thing I asked the lady who was, um, you know, man in the station. I was like, can I compare it to the beauty blender? Because if I can't, I don't want it. I don't want it. So this was $6, which is very affordable compared to $20 for a beauty blender even $16 for getting it at eye mist is still a $10 decrease for getting the uh, blender that Morphe has it worked amazing it blended out just as good as the beauty blender would have so I am 100% amazed I love it. it it did its job okay it did its job and I didn't miss my beauty blender I wasn't like damn I wish I would have went back and use my beauty blender instead or I need to grab my beauty blender beauty blender and finish the up. job beauty blender about to come up like you cheated on me right me, right me, right <laughs> so what I plan to do is to alternate between the two but the fact that it works so well I am glad because it was only six dollars I mean that's a steal that is a steal it's definitely a steal mm-hmm so yeah, I got the same one now. Um, you guys have seen me use their, I like to call it the full body. <laughs> the full body one, the one that go like this. It's shaped like an hourglass, you know, poison. Never trust the big button to smile. I didn't get that shape. I actually got the cut out egg. Um, with the with the little slice at the top mm -hmm. um, I so feel like this, like... yeah, I feel like it's really good for getting under eye. Um, like when you're patting under your eye like to blend out concealer or something or if mm -hmm. you need to do a sharp line like um, for your contour um, I really feel like it's good for that now what I will say what I personally feel like stands the test of time when it comes to beauty blenders because I also love the real technique sponge mm -hmm. um, and I'll see it with these new LaBelle sponges too my test for when it compares to the beauty blender is how long will it last because Although like Real Techniques is six dollars for like two or something like that, and this one was six dollars, I want to know will it last as long as a beauty blender, or will it be all eaten up mm -hmm. within a little bit? So that's definitely a determining factor um, for you know if I'm gonna spend my money for longevity and quality, or if I'm just going to get something that's now, like for the moment, right? So, moving along with brushes, so we all know, like, if you are a Morphe shopper, then you know that Morphe is also well known for their brushes, because not only are their brushes affordable, but they are good. I mean, they are good, okay? And you can actually afford to pay for them. So, I went ahead and got a couple of brushes as well as Brit. Um, I'm going to start off with the brushes that I actually used today on the look that y'all see right now. So I went ahead and got the M44. This is like a real flat buffer brush. I guess y'all can see that. But it's very short or whatever. It is very dense. And I like this. I used this today for my foundation. I just like a dense, um, like... I guess fat brush or whatever to blend out my makeup. I just feel like it works well as far as like getting an even, you know, coating or full coverage with my foundation. So this worked extremely well and this is the M44. This worked amazing. Um, I also got the Y6. This is the gold edition. We both got this. Um, so this is also, um, another one of our face brushes. I forget exactly the name that they call it, but I used it as a powder brush and I loved it because it's not, I hate when they're too fluffy because when I, when they're too fluffy, I feel like I can't control the product as much. So I use this cause you can actually use this for foundation too, liquid foundation if you wanted to, but I used it for powder. I actually feel like, like when I saw this brush, I instantly thought of like a dupe for the Sigma F80 yeah. face brush. Yeah, you could use it for that if you wanted to. It's not as dense as the Sigma it's F80. It's not, it's not. But I'm gonna try it in comparison. And then if I don't like it, I'm gonna just clean it off and use it as a powder brush. Yeah. Since Britt said it was a good powder brush. Yeah, you could use it as either or. So that's the great thing about it with the buy. You know, it could be multi-purpose. So another brush that I got that I actually used today was the Morphe M705. 
it looks like this I don't know if y'all can see that so basically it's just a flat brush um, and what I used it for was for my eyeshadow primer I used concealer today because I was running out of eyeshadow primer and I felt like it was ridiculous to buy eyeshadow primer when I could just really just use concealer at the end of the day so I actually just used that to go ahead and blend out my eyeshadow primer on my lid um, so I think it's perfect because it's kind of angled um, so it actually fits real perfectly under my eyebrow and in my lid so I went ahead and got that um, I also got the M507 this is just a blending brush I don't know if y'all can see that but this is just a blending brush I feel like you can't never have too many blending brushes like as far as blending out your eyeshadows you definitely want to make sure you blend for your life because you blend. do not want those lines of demarcation on your eye m610 which is a fan brush i haven't used it yet um i just wanted to use it for my highlight i just felt like it would be nice to just you know because right now i'm using a elf brush which isn't bad it works great but you know, sometimes you know how they say if it ain't broke, don't fix it, blah blah blah. But I've been wanting a, a, a fan brush, so I got it. Like stick it through the side. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> okay. So it wasn't no top to stick it through. Yes, it is. is. It? Oh, it is. Who knew? Okay, I'm doing it. I'm making it happen. Good job. Boom. Okay. Hello. I also got the M13, the M213 brush from Morphe. This is just like a flat smudge brush. You can use it for that, but what I actually use it for is I like to use it for my lid color. So I use it for whatever lid color I'm using, and I also use it for glitter. I like that it's small because I feel like I have more control, especially when I'm doing like cut crease especially with cut creases because it's very small so you're able to be more detailed with cut creases or with your lid color because it's small and you don't have a big brush to just get it all over the place so I like it for that um, I also got the M515 this is just a really small it looks kind of like a pencil brush um, and you can actually use it for that it's very small probably great for detail if you were doing some type of detailing with your eyeshadows but I'm actually just going to use it for like my inner tear duct when I go to just do that little pop of color in my inner corner I'll be using this to do that um, I also got the M513 this is just a regular blending brush so like I said before you can't have too many blending brushes um, I wanted to get more than one so I got the black one and I also got the white one you know mix it up around here in these streets so um i actually got two m213 which was the lid color brushes just because i feel like i can't have too many of those i like to be able to alternate especially when you being lazy you do not feel like washing your brushes because we all get there so at least i'll still have clean brushes to put on my eyes instead of brushes that i've been using for however long um lastly from oh no that hurt my heart yes <laughs> So what I also got from Morphe, um, I got a sharpener. It was two dollars. Yeah. yeah, it was two dollars, but I got a sharpener just because um, I just feel like you can never have too many. I lose some all the time, and I just feel like it's good to have one at home. And it's good to have one on the go. So this is very, you know, small, compact. You could throw it in your purse, throw it in your little makeup bag while you want to go. And I just feel like it's convenient, especially being as though I use a lot of like lip liners. And stuff like that pencil liners so that's perfect so lastly i went ahead and got this little pop socket from morphe it was three dollars i feel like it was really convenient and cute something that you know isn't part of their typical makeup line but something that they was offering at imas i'm not sure if they sell it online but you know it's perfect for just when you yeah i'm saying you know like you just out here in these streets like you know you just want to grab a dope selfie and you know you could just boom like boom you know and y'all see what i'm saying she's so fancy y'all see what i mean okay now i'm gonna talk about the brushes that i picked up from morphe um so i'm not gonna open them because 
the brushes but I did get the M518 which is a white taper blending brush um, I also got the E43 now I am going to open this one a little bit but it's like a flat brush there you go it's just a flat brush it's no angle and um, as I was looking up like what brushes I should get they said this was really good for smudging under the eye like if you wanted to place a color under the eye um, so I can use it for that and if I'm feeling you know if I want to also see how it may work for um, carving out eyebrows as well so I got a the M153 and this is a um, packing brush so where you can really pack the pigment onto your lid um, I feel like you can never have too many of those and um, just like we say it's, you can never have too many blending brushes so I also got the M330 I actually love the big taper brushes like this because I feel like it's just so easy to just windshield wipe all up in your like ugh that's the fact yeah like it's so easy to do that with like a transition color and then like a second transition color or if you wanted to like blend all your colors together um, like you know get rid of any harsh lines I feel like these brushes um, are really great for that now I also got the M532 which they said it was a highlighter brush but it's still fluffy and I want to see if it might be too big to actually use to um, blend everything together. Yeah. Now this is my favorite brush. I've been wanting this brush forever and I did use it today to apply a highlighter. I don't even know if y'all can see it. But this is the E33 Fan Brush Deluxe. And when I tell y'all it's thick, it's it is so thick. And it's so bougie. I just be like, like, like what are you talking about? What are you talking want, about? Like, who want to check me? Who want to check me with my? If it ain't the Lex, like, what is it? Like, going? when you get done, it's like, do you see me beaming or no? Do you see that I'm out here shining or no? Do you catch my drift at this dust or no? Right. Who want to check me? And it's it this brush is just like worth it. Like I think this brush was I want to say it was fourteen dollars. I don't feel like they had a sale on their brushes at Murphy. By the way, like just for fair warning. Yeah, I honestly feel like their uh, brushes regular were regular price. Same with the tools, like the sponge. Yeah. I believe I paid five dollars for the brush that, for the sponge that I got before. Right. Um, I don't know if they changed the formula because that one seemed pretty hard. So we can definitely check. But um. Yeah, this brush was $15 on its own. But I don't care because it's so me. Like, it's so extra AF. Like, yeah, that joint definitely extra. And it's cute. Like, I showed Brit. I said, how am I highlight? And she was like, oh, bitch. And I was like, ah. It did. It went on perfectly. And I think because of how thick it is, it just does a good job of blending the highlight into your yeah. foundation. Because you don't want your highlight to just sit in here in a harsh line on your cheek. You want it to be seamless and kind of look like it's supposed to be there. Right. And I also got a pop socket. So we also <laughs> went to Ardell and we got some lashes. Um, we got there a little late, so they didn't have a huge selection, which was fine. They have shit. <laughs> I'm not going to sugarcoat it. Yeah, they didn't really have a huge selection. Um, but what Ardell is fine because their eyelashes are pretty cheap anyway so even if you can't get them you know say you're at eye mint so you can't get them you can always get them at a beauty supply store and it should be, be just as cheap to be honest or Ulta so um I'm pretty simple when it comes to lashes I don't like to do too much and I like to like make my nature my lashes look as natural as possible sometimes I may step out of the box and go dramatic but well, for the most part, I'm doing natural lashes, trying my best to. So, um, I ended up getting the 208 black. And they look like that. So, they're very natural. I actually have them on right now. Um, so if you guys can see them. Boop, boop. Okay. So, <laughs> um, I went ahead and got those. They had a deal where you were doing, six, you were getting six for 20. So,
So I did get all six pairs in the style 208. Um, <laughs> I didn't know she did that. Yeah, I got all six pairs in the style 208 because I'm very simple. And when it comes to lashes, I don't like to be too extra. So I didn't see any other style that fit my personal style. So I just went ahead and got the style that I like in six pairs. So um, whether you think six for 20 is a deal or not is completely up to you. I thought he said six for 10. I've I heard I could have sworn he did. Yes. I could have sworn he said six for 20, 10 as well. I'm like, I know I'm not crazy. I know I, but I'm like, you know what? I ain't got time. Right. I'm just going to go ahead and give him 20. But, um, yeah, our Dell lashes are pretty good and they're very cheap, very affordable. Nine times I say you can get them at your local beauty supply store. Right. So, I got six pairs of lashes as well as well as um, the duo strip lash adhesive um, so I got a glue because I want to see how this works I got it in the color white um, everybody says that's what you should do so I got that that was five dollars um, now I got the Ardell Naturals in 102 Demi and there they go right there and I also got the 202 in black in their double up collection so that's them right there and I got the um, Ardell 201 in black as well I don't know if you can see that it don't want to focus so there they go and I got the 208s, like Britt said, that she got. And I also got the 106 in their natural lash right there. So those are the pairs that I got. We hope you guys enjoyed yeah. our um, I'm at Hall. Yeah. So I'm actually celebrating a milestone. I reached 50 subscribers literally right before I went to IMAT. So thank you so much for all of those who follow me. I know it's been a minute. And so on top of the 50 subscribers, um, I'm also giving like a thank you and appreciation for like sticking, sticking through with me, man. Like it's been hard. Y'all haven't seen me too often and y'all haven't seen Britt either. So I really appreciate her coming along. So for my appreciation for Britt, I did go ahead and pick up an IMETS pen. Yes. And um, I, I gave her one. It is a pen. I think it's so cute because it's a lipstick. Like, oh. you know, just, oh. right. So that was my appreciation to her. Now my appreciation to you all is I went to New York. I went to IMETS and I want to give back. So I am doing a giveaway. And I'm about to show y'all what y'all gonna get because I'm so excited. So y'all are gonna get the Morphe blending sponge. So you're gonna get that. You're also gonna get a couple of um, like samples of like hair conditioner and mask. That was that's a little extra for y'all because I'm gonna try those too. You guys are also getting an IMAX pen, which I, I swear this is the cutest thing ever. I hope it never runs out of ink. <laughs> You guys will also be getting the Ardell, a pair of Ardell um, lashes in the Demi Pixies. This doesn't have a number, um, but it looks just like really similar to a pair that I got. You guys will be getting a um, Beauty Blender Pro Solid sample. Now, if you watched my last video of how to wash your makeup brushes, this is what I use to clean them. These samples they last a minute, like they last a grip. So you're gonna be getting a sample of that. You guys are also gonna be getting a Morphe pop socket. Now, if y'all know pop sockets, like I know pop sockets, I actually bought one. And when I tell you they are so expensive, now you get one and you get to be popping, representing a brand. And the last thing that you're gonna be getting is, y'all know like, usually when I do my makeup videos, if I don't have my hair up in some type of style, I'm pulling my hair back with either some cat ears um, or like a bow of some sort like that. So I'm going to be gifting this OMG bow um, that I actually picked up for you guys at Ricky's Cosmetics. 
and it says oh my god oh my god this is a very very popular um bow for that like you've probably seen on youtube i know andrea renee has one and tiara Tierra Monet. Um, they also wear these, so these are really cute. Um, with these, you can wear them to clean your face, um, to keep your hair out the way. You can also wear them to do your makeup. You can also wear them to be, um, like, if you're having a spa day, you can wear it at the spa to keep your hair from getting wet. Or if you just want to be extra as fuck, right. like, you can just put this on. Like, Britt was walking around with one on, and I was like, it's so fucking yeah so we got the ones in black um and yeah so you guys are gonna get the ones in pink and i really appreciate it so there will be one winner now in order to enter the enter the giveaway i want you to be subscribed to this channel if you want to see more of my face if you want to see Bert's face if you want to learn you a little something subscribe to the channel um, also turn on your notifications so you are alerted when I do upload a video I want you to comment below what should they comment below um. comment out of the haul today which product you are most willing to try and or so you can choose um, which do you want to see a review on first okay so that's it and the winner will be announced no later than may 1st i'll keep you guys updated um but by may 1st you will have a winner um and that will be around my birthday as well so i just want to thank you guys so much for like sticking in there with me and holding it down oh, I, I really appreciate y'all so we about to step out have fun. It was nice earlier. It's a little chilly now. Oh, do, do you see that? Wow. I'm going to just finish the video like this. <laughs> okay, and I'm sorry we're blind y'all with that bomb ass highlight from that bomb ass yeah. brush. Anyway, um, it's been real, y'all. We see y'all back in Philly. Peace and blessings. Hey. Bye. <laughs>